All right, welcome back to Orange Peel as we call the podcast. We reckon of the name. No, it's a cool name. Like, fans, we don't have any regular league experience yet. at all. Well, it's a pretty got, cool name. You've got experience. One game now. Yeah, one game. One yeah, game. But I wasn't as involved as what I would have liked to have been, but we'll yeah. get into that later. For those who... I don't have that many viewers on the podcast, but <laughs> if you do watch it, this is Zane. Introduce yourself. I'm Zane. I'm on TikTok. I... What I should I say? I go for rabbit holes. Yeah. <laughs> we live in the same area, so we thought yeah. we might as well start a podcast well, with each other. Do it together. Make it a bit more entertaining. Mm. Maybe get some guests on occasionally as well. Yeah, mate. You never yeah. know. I was talking to Julian actually. Yeah. He was part of the charity match, obviously, and I was like, maybe you should come. And he was like, no, I can't talk. Yeah. yeah we, I've <laughs> tried to make one with him before. Yeah, he struggles. Really. Yes. No good. He's a dragon fan, so be like yeah. a good mix. We we're just saying before we started recording that we're sore from the charity match. What, yeah. what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying, like, Monday, Sunday and Monday, I, like, my thighs just yeah. were so sore. Like, I could hardly, like, walk in them. Like, I could walk, but it was just yeah. very... Okay. They just felt very tight. Like, it was only an hour game. I was surprised how uh, That's the most I've ran around in about yeah. five years. That's the thing. Right after the game, my calves were killing. Like, I was... You know, I was standing up for, like, ages afterwards, yeah. like, seeing all the, I guess, the kids. Yeah, my calves were just killing. And then... I woke up the next day expecting my legs to be sore, but they were kind of fine, but my shoulders were sore. Yeah. And I was like, why are my shoulders sore? I didn't make a yeah, single my back, got, my back got a little bit sore. Yeah, from well, carrying the team. Yeah, I'm here for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to get straight into what we're going to talk about. Let's do the team previews first. Okay. You brought your notes. Uh, let's get into the Tigers. What do you make of the Tigers heading into 2023? Look, yeah, like... They, there's only one way to go for them. Like, they've got to go up. But yeah, I think in the trials, they looked really good. I don't yeah, think they're going to be anywhere near the top eight. Like, but I've seen people, Andrew Johns especially, reckons yeah, they can make the top eight, which I think is a bit... Yeah, in the bottom of this eight. Like, I, think it's a I have put them... Let me get my notes back up here. I've put them, I think it was 12th. Um, no, 13th. I put them 13th. 13th. I've got them at 11th. But I think like they, I think they'll improve. Yeah, but Chorus I think a lot of like, other teams are going to improve. Chorus is well. massive for them. Yeah, he, uh, he, he, like, he gets hurt or something. Oh yeah, that's going to be a problem. Done. But their forwards are incredible, like Clemmer, Papaliti, John Bateman's there yeah. as well. But their back line still got a lot I of work to do. I actually noticed we'll get into it later. Bateman's not named this weekend. He isn't. No. But he's but he's in the country. Mm-hmm. He's training with them, so yeah. that's good for Tigers fans. Hopefully, he like obviously he probably hasn't like he hasn't played in a while. Yeah. He's, Obviously, like he wasn't yeah. training on the plane or anything. I imagine. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how uh, he goes. Yeah. So you you said thirteenth. I've got him at eleventh. Yes. Yeah. I feel like we're sort of I on the same. I feel like they'll be in that area. Yeah. I don't see him making the top eight, but they'll. You reckon they'll improve? Though, yeah, they've got to improve. They have to. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't improve, like there's more. Yeah. <laughs> like they've signed Appy, they've signed Papali'i. This they is their time now. New coach, new training facilities. They've got like mm. a whole culture shift. If they can't succeed now, uh, I don't know if I'll just yeah. kick them out of the comp. I reckon. Yeah, honestly. All right, and then Warriors. What did you think of them? I thought they were like pretty decent in the trial game. Yeah, especially uh, the first they trial. weren't decent, but they weren't like bad either. Like they were yeah. just like they went fine, but like they have gained like a few players. Like they got Dylan Walker and Nickel Clarkstack, but they've. Lost a lot more. Yeah, I, game, that, I, I feel like a lot of people are saying that the Warriors have recruited well, but no, I don't think I they have. Not really. Like, like, they've lost. on the same page there. Yeah, yeah. but like, I, don't I don't think they're, they're going to come last. I've got them 14th, so in the bottom four, but like not last. I think over in New Zealand. I've got them 14th as well, yeah. yeah I think over in New Zealand, I'll get a few more like sneaky wins. That's what I've got written down here. I think being back in New Zealand for the whole season, when they went back last year, the games they won, like they yeah. were in New Zealand, so yeah. I think having a full season there. Yeah, and they're, they're just, just the side who I don't think will like ever get the wooden spoon again. Like yeah. I think they're just gonna have a typical season, like they always do, between eleventh and fifteenth. Yeah, right? just yeah. sort they're of never, almost underachieving. Yeah, they're, they're never the bottom. They're never at the top. So. You, you don't reckon they're a chance at the spoon? Oh, I don't. I wouldn't rule it out, but, but you I don't just think the, the sides I've got below them, I think, are pretty far behind them still. So. Yeah, that's fair enough. What do you think of Sean Johnson? I think he's going to retire. I think, he should, have, I think he should have retired last season. Like, I just yeah. think he's well past it now. He seems a bit past it. Doesn't no, he? Maybe, maybe not leave the club. Maybe he stay there. You've got to keep him on as a coach or yeah, something. Yeah, some sort of coach. I think he's playing days are past him. Yeah, I don't hate that. I love Sean Johnson. I always like. He's probably one of my favourite players. Oh, yeah, back in back 10 years ago, he was yeah. excited <laughs> to watch. But he's just yeah, like, slowly got him worse every year, year, which is yeah. a shame. Yeah. But you know. I think the, like, as, he was always like an explosive, fast player. With yeah. the but now he's older. Yeah, he he just, can't do that as much. Yeah, he's just slowly yeah. gone downhill his whole career, which yeah. is a shame. 
it is what it is, though, isn't it? Um, what about the Knights? What do you reckon of the Knights? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to laugh because I think they are in a complete mess at the moment. Caelan Ponger is not a 5'8", he's a fullback, and yeah. I'm going to stand by that for the whole season. Even if he proves me wrong? Even if he proves me wrong, <laughs> yeah, I still yeah. want him to play at 5'8". Um, not 5'8", no, fullback, fullback, I want him to play I, at fullback. I agree, I think he's definitely... A fullback. Even if the Knights win the minor premiership with him there, I still want him to play fullback. Yeah. Fullback. No one's going to change my mind on that. Because obviously, like, you've got Lockyer, he switched from fullback to fullback. He yeah. was the best fullback in the game when he made the switch. Pong is not yeah, the best. He's fullback. not the best. He can and be, but he's not. He's made the switch before as well, and after like two or three weeks, they gave up. Yes. Uh, it's failed before. I don't know why they're going back. There. I wouldn't be surprised if they moved him back to fullback with, by round five if they don't win a game. Who do you reckon they put in 5 8 if they moved him back to fullback? That's a good question, actually. Like, um, Kurt Mann, he's named a lock this uh, week. Yeah, they could do Kurt Mann. He's, Adam Clune's still there, I think. Yeah, like, I think oh, he would be. Uh, Gamble as well. Yeah, Gamble. Gamble's he'd be there. Yeah. I think Gamble have partnering options. Hastings wouldn't be that bad. Yes, yeah, I, I don't, don't think, think it would be, but I just can't. Don't know why they've put. It's a stitch up because yes. like obviously they moved him into five eight, but then they went and signed Lucky Miller at full. Oh yeah. So like who isn't bad? Pong, he's not bad, but like right. if they want to move Ponga back to fullback, then they have to drop Lucky Miller yeah. or put him to the bench, and then that's just a waste of money. Yeah, I just like they put all their eggs in the one. And I don't think O'Brien's got long to go. Yeah, yeah. they no, start no, off no. shockingly. He will. I think if Ponga yeah. fails at five eight, he's, he's yeah. Done. Oh yeah. Who do you reckon would lose their job? Say Ponga fails at five eight, who loses their job first? O'Brien or McGregor at the Dragons? McGregor. Oh, Griffin at the oh, Dragons, sorry. yeah. Sorry, um, Griffin, Griffin. It depends. Like, if I reckon... If the Knights start off disastrous, you know, get pumped by 40, like, every week within the first few rounds, he'll, yeah. O'Brien will be gone. So it's a hard question. But I think after next weekend, I'll probably be able to have a better read yeah. on him and could probably answer that question a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, that's fair. I think... The Knights have an easy draw to start with, I'm pretty they sure, do. which helps. Yeah. Because they could, like, li- they literally could go five and five. Well, I, I see a few other, like, influences saying, saying the Knights can, are going to really improve with Jake's, Jackson Hastings. Like, I think Clarkie put him, like, at ninth, yeah. and I think that's a bit. Like, I don't yeah, I reckon they're going to improve that much. I think they will. I've I got him at 15th. Where do I got him at 15th. Where do I have for the spoon. I got him at 16th, actually. Yeah, I'd, I got him yeah. one off the spoon. Yeah, I don't <laughs> see any improvement. Yeah, I, I think Hastings, like the impact he had at the Tigers, if you look at individual games, he definitely had a big yeah, impact. But, but then they, they came last. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, like, did he really have that? But he did get moved to lock a lot. Yeah, that was... Which, silly, we won't go into that. Yeah. yeah, I think they could... I think they could go either way, though. If they came out... If Ponga plays good at 5 8 which I don't think he will... But if he did, I think they can maybe probably not compete for the eight, but yeah. they can finish a bit higher in the yeah, bottom. Maybe towards twelve. Yeah. Fourteenth. That's probably <laughs> their ceiling though. Yeah. Alright. Uh the Titans. What do we make of the Titans? They're my bold team for the year. I reckon they can make the eight. Reckon they can now, make I the eight, honestly but... reckon they have a better chance of making the eight than the Tigers and the Dogs do. The I'm not gonna <laughs> I don't have them higher than the dogs and tigers on the ladder. But at the same time, I agree. I do think they can push into Because the they've proved that, that they can make the eight. They, in 2021, they made the eight. And they had an experience. Yeah, and they had an experience half that year. Yeah. And this year, they've got an experience. Well, that's the half thing. Again. They got rid of um, Fogarty last year. Yeah. And then they fell. And now they've got four and if he stays healthy. Oh, yeah. And Sam Verrills and yeah. Chris Randall and Aaron Schopp. Like, yeah. like BK Sport has said they've signed players that they need rather yeah. than players that they want. And I look at their side and I'm like, that's the side they Yeah, they didn't go after play. the big names. They went after yeah. the pieces that they needed yes and now you got like Brimson back to full yeah like this one Tanner Boyd's actually... really good at halfback I yeah think, when he plays halfback and then there's stability of the spine as well yeah. like you leave Bruno at fullback you leave yeah Tanner Boyd at halfback and, and they gotta half. stick with it they can't yeah. just chop yeah. him out and then move four in the halfback yeah. and Brimson the f- to five eight some Campbell the fullback and bring Sexton in every few weeks it, I guess yeah, yeah. Even if you're losing games, I think you just gotta just leave gotta it stick and just with it. Yeah. Wait for it to work, and then but, if it doesn't work, like, and their depth so is really good as well. I think, like, I honestly, it's very bold, but I reckon they can make the top eight this year and surprise everyone. Do you have them inside your own? I do. I have them at eight. At eight. Yes, and I thought they were really good in the trials. I know they were up against the Dolphins, but yeah. they look just so much more organised yeah, this year. They just look cohesive. Yeah, and that young winger, what's his name? 
Khan Piera. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Is, yeah. is he a rookie? Star. Yeah, he is a rookie. And he's been named this week, and yeah, I saw his name, and I was yeah, like, oh. He's going to kill it this year. I think I threw him into my fantasy team. Yeah, I, I might, might be an early shout-out rookie of the year. Yeah. He can play like he I don't hate that. that. Yeah, yeah. He, he played good, hey. Yeah. Well, I don't, I've got him in 13th, but I feel bad because now that we've spoken, I'm like, and I do think they're capable of making like, the A. Their so spine is very underrated. Just and the way all the other teams around them. Their recruitment has been very underrated and overshadowed. I've literally got written down here. Under the radar, yeah. Like that's, I think that it's every it up. every year people just look at the Titans like a oh, fourteenth, like they're not going to do anything. Well, I feel like last like, year everyone was hyping them up for no reason yes, like, after the last Fogarty because they had, came off the finals run and then even Cameron Smith said they were going to make like top four and stuff. Yeah, no, I I had them at six last year, yeah. which was very very stupid in the end. And I'm sure there is going to be a prediction here that's going to look completely <laughs> yeah, stupid by the end of the year. Yeah. year. But yeah, if. Like last year, everyone hyped them up, and then this year they're not really getting that much hype. But I yeah, feel like they not, should be getting it yeah, this year rather than last year. But like every year, like a lot of predictions are never correct. I've never seen one that's yeah. bang on correct. Yeah, like if we get, if I get mine bang on correct, like I need to figure out something to do. <laughs> yeah, like, this is spot on. Every team place in place. Well, like you look at the Cowboys last year. I don't know yeah. what you thought they'd come, but I thought wouldn't. But I said. I think six fifteen yeah, last year. Like, I don't think low, I had they came top four. So yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be such a close ladder, I think. So yeah, could, I think you could. There could be two points in between. I think from first to twelfth is going to be reasonably tight. close. Yeah, yeah, tight. Not you could miss the eight tight. tight into like fifth spot, I reckon. To be honest. Yeah, but the teams. But the teams from thirteenth to seventeenth. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we'll play them. Yeah, beat them. All right, let's talk about my precious Bulldogs. Don't be <laughs> too mean here. <laughs> what do you reckon? I just want to start off saying, like, obviously they've got lots of signings. They do. But then. This week, they did Tavita Pangai Jr. Yeah, that's true. That Burden and Fox come in. And then you got Tavita Pangai Jr. is out injured. And then Thompson gets out injured. Mm. And that's our two... They would have been our two starting props from predicted team lists yeah. that I'd seen, including what Gus had said who the forwards were going to be. So, obviously, like, this weekend, we got, like, Pele off the bench and a couple of debutants. So, I think to start the season, we'll probably start slow. Mm. Until they come back, but what do you make of them? I think, think they'll start, start slow as well. Like I don't think they'll win this weekend, but I think by the back of the year they're going to look really, really good there. Like, yeah. like Billy Army kick out best back rower in the game. Like he's going to kill it. Reed Marnie is exactly what they all they need now is a halfback. I don't yeah. know why they haven't gone and signed one yet. I know they got Crichton coming for the fullback role next year, but halfback is what. I they would need. have preferred them to not sign Crichton and then really? throw in money at Moses or a halfback because well, we I had think, Avarillo at fullback. Yeah, but I think that's who they. We're going for as yeah. their halfback Moses. And then they pulled out. I, like my ideal spine before any signings were made, it would have been Avarillo, Burden, Moses, Marnie, and then obviously they went Crichton instead. And I might look up now halfbacks that are off, off contract. contract by yeah, it'd be the end of next year or the end of the year. After. I, th- I don't think there's many left for the end, like for 2024, but there would be you know, 2025. Let's yeah, that's, try and find it. Because Avrilo, I, like, I say it every single time I do a podcast, like, Avrilo killed it at fullback. Before he was mm. named at fullback, I called him to play fullback. I said, why don't we put Avrilo at fullback? He'd be perfect. So, so Adam Reynolds is off contract at the end of 2024. <laughs> Would you bring him back to Sydney? Do you reckon he retires? So. I reckon he might retire. Or maybe, like, yeah. another year. What I'd love to see is that he to returns to the house for one year, like Benji Marshall yeah, did at the Tigers. But that. a really unlikely be, thing. I think he would... Stitch up your leases, development. Yeah, but like he would, would be, be available, available, but I do think he'll just retire yeah. up in Brisbane. How old is he? He's thirty three, maybe. Think, yeah, like he'd be he, close he, to retiring. Yeah. I think he might go another year or two. Yeah. Like his injury, so like there's a reason South's still. Uh, he's the type of guy who I reckon is going to sign at some one year deal at some random club that no one expects. Do you reckon England? Do you reckon he goes to Super League? I know. I, yeah, I think he's comfortable in Brisbane. I think yeah, he yeah. said when he retired that's where he wanted to go. Yeah, okay. So but, like he might sign the Titans or you know the Dolphins even for a year. Yeah. Like it would not surprise me. I could see him sign with the Dolphins. Oh like, well, yeah, they, they can't get it. Like, just Blair, to come in like, and just yeah. like guide young like. Because I think they're yeah. going to struggle for a few years, so you know he might. Yeah. They might get in there, but we're going off topic here. So we're yeah, talking yeah. about the dogs here. <laughs> uh, is there any more halfbacks coming off contract? Um, Hastings is on until then, but will you get Hastings? I don't know. Ilias is off that twenty. Oh, well, see, that's interesting. Do South swap Ilias? But I think this could be a bit of an older article because I'm pretty sure he extended a few weeks. Actually, I'm sure he might. I do, even yeah. if he was, I'd assume South would lock him up anyway. They seem like they've seen keen on him for quite some time now. Yeah. 
Yeah, we were talking about the Bulldogs. Yeah. Um, I've got written down here good left edge. You mentioned Viliami kick out yeah. as like Keep the best back row. Yeah, so it's Addo Carr, Burden, Kia, and then Alan Motti's the centre, the rookie. He plays, he's, he's got mad wraps on him in yeah, the reserve Aaron grade. In <laughs> if it was Aaron Chop <laughs> at that edge, that's yeah. like such a hectic edge. But I think Alan Motti's got, I wouldn't compare him to Stephen Crichton as like a player, but the way Kikau's going to take him under his wing mm. and like help him through, which is what like Crichton was on that left edge <laughs> with Kikau and Panthers. I think Alamotti can sort of be guided by Kikau and Fox. Yeah, like if, right. if you're a rookie, that's a pretty good spot to land in. Like inside Adokai, outside Kikau, and outside Burden as well. Mm. Like I don't know if there's like a better, there probably is a better spot in the NRL, but I think that's one of the best. What, left so edges, like if I'm a rookie oh, centre, I still like, see us up there. Like, yeah, definitely yeah. see us, but like a winger, second row, five eighth combo, yeah. like Ado Car, kick out, but yeah. all internationals. Like, I'm not saying that it's the best, but like, as you said, South would be up there, wrong. but it's, I think it's definitely a good landing spot as a rookie centre. Yes, but I still have a few concerns with the Bulldogs. Gus Gould is my biggest concern at the club. I know he can turn clubs into absolute gun, but you saw with Penrith when he was there, they just were underachieving yeah. to their potential. I think when he, he leaves, they might have permanent. His best better. thing is the junior development. Yes, but I, I just think rather he than clubs like back. first grade stuff. Like I think he has too much control yeah. over the clubs, and then when they leave, they're more free to do what they want, and that's yeah. how they go well. I think. Yeah, I think when he's well. interfering in like first grade sides, I think he definitely does too much there. It wasn't quiet in here, right? Mm-hmm. It wasn't quiet in here. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what just happened. Yeah. But then I think the way he puts in structures in junior development and stuff, I think that's his forte. That's where he does his best work. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a lot of concerns with his interference, like with Trent Barrett. A lot of people yeah. look at it with him interfering with Barrett. I think Serrano, though, I think he can talk. I hope my sound doesn't go here, but my sound turned off for a little bit. Oh, before. well, we'll, we'll yeah, just we'll is it back on now? Yeah, yeah, it's back on oh, now, but we went for 14 it. minutes and then it stopped, so I don't know. I'll just sort that out. I might have to cut some bits out, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We'll sort this out as we go The audio's going to be off for a little bit, so... Yeah, no, that's all good. It'll get better week to week. Like, like I'm sure you can still hear me, can't you? Just oh, yeah, if it's, it might if we're recorded through your phone anyway. Yeah. I'll just, I'll find out when I edit it. Yeah. That's all good. Um, let's move on to Manly, where the Bulldogs play. Mm-hmm. What do you reckon about Manly? I... Didn't, didn't think they're up for a good year, year like before the trials. But after the trials, I think they're going to go. They're going to go a lot better than what people expect them to. Like I still think their forwards are a big concern. I think they have got the weakest forward pack in the NRL. Yeah. But Travojevic, like, he's all I can say. If he's playing, if he's playing, they'll win games. I think if he's healthy, they're top eight, maybe even top four. But if he's injured, yeah, top four. I think if he's healthy the whole season, they can push for top four. I think they showed that in if he's back to his twenty twenty one form. Yeah. yeah. Like, like we saw in which I don't think he will, but we saw in twenty twenty one he just broke the line every time he got it. And I don't think he's gonna be that good this year. And I think their forwards are very weak and backs score off the back of forwards. So for that reason Schuster as well at five eight. I think they'll miss yeah. Foran. Yeah, they will miss Foran a lot more than their For all the reasons I stated, I've put them at ten. You gotta before we continue with Manley, where did you have the Bulldogs at? I forgot to ask. I had them at eleventh. I've put them in at eight. Just below the I've did you? Of course you did. Oh, because like obviously I'm biased. <laughs> I also think the way their draw is like I've gone through and like looked at every game. For every... I did the thing you did. I saw you did on TikTok a couple of months ago. We like basically well, picked the yeah. entire season. Oh, yeah. 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 I sort of did that, and the Bulldogs landed like at eighth or ninth. Well, well, so you probably a couple of games. Probably a couple of games where you. I yeah, think like I had us beating Parramatta once. Like I had us beating the Roosters. <laughs> like. There was definitely a bit of bias in there, but yeah, I've got them coming eighth. Uh, and you said Manly, you said them at eighth? I said them at tenth. Tenth. I've got Manly at ninth. So I feel like we're at the same time. I, I want to put Manly high, but I just can't. I'm assuming, I just can't put in my latter prediction, I'm assuming Tom Trubovic gets hurt again. Because I, yeah, I think he'll get hurt again. Imagine. <laughs> I'm it'll calling be, it now. It'll be too good. That's my preseason bold prediction. What do you think it'll be this year? Should we put a bet on it? Will it be his shoulder, his knee, his hamstring, <laughs> his thumb, his jaw? Well, what do you reckon they, it'll be this like, year? Obviously, he's just spent so long redoing his hamstring. So you reckon his hamstring won't be his hammy? No, I'm going his, <laughs> his hammy. I'm going his elbow. I reckon he'll do his elbow, yeah. All right, I've got a question for you. Over or under, how, how many games do they play? 24. So over or under 12 and a half games, do you reckon he'll play? I reckon he'll play more. You reckon over I reckon, he'll, yeah, I, I reckon he should have a pretty good game. I, I do see an injury happening, but I reckon he can. He can play, play most of the yeah. season. So just a minor injury. Yeah. I'll go... <laughs> <laughs> I think 
I think over as well. But yeah. at the same time, I'm like, if he doesn't play any games, I won't be surprised. Uh, Look, if he comes out against the Bulldogs and does his ACL. Uh, no, in this also, first game, he would just have to retire. Like, it's Saturday uh, that afternoon would... at Brookvale, sunny, that's just like. Best uh-huh. conditions for him to play as well. I'll just that say, retire, retire right now. Like, he's, like, he's, he's wasting the contest. He's two injuries right. off retirement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, I'm going to the game. I'll be on the hill cheering. Yeah, <laughs> I'm heading up, yeah, up to Granada on that. Saturday. Yeah, oh, that's right. right. South play Sharks. That'll be good. Um, so you got Manly at 10th and I've got them at 9th. Mm. You, you said you want to put them high. I want to, but there's just a few teams I've got around them. That's the problem, man. I don't want to put lower. There's so many teams that are pushing for the eight and it's And then the team I've got in ninth are probably already too much lower than what they should be. And I just can't. I think we'll talk about them soon. Yeah, all right. Your favourite team. Everyone's favourite team to talk about. There we go. I've got a lot to say here. I had class this morning, like at uni, and a kid was like a Dragons fan. And like we, me and my mate asked him, like, who do you go for? He's just like, oh, dragons. <laughs> like, it's a bit like that at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. they're just a complete mess of a club. Like, they just pretty good way of putting it. Like, like BKR Sport, Sport has said this as well. Their club is just refusing to go into a rebuild. Like, yeah, they're just yeah, trying to win the club. And I keep saying every year, because I've got a lot of family with Dragon Sports, I'm like, they're never going to win with this team that they've got. Yeah. Like, they got to just get the whole club. Yes, and they have to. Rebuild. Have to. Like, like they've got, got all these juniors coming in. I saw a story today where, where you, you know Sullivan's going to be most likely going to be there five eight for this year. Yeah. Yeah. Young junior, they want to sign someone. Yeah. Like, why yeah. give someone yeah. a go? Yeah. Goes well. They, they hate playing juniors, and then they wonder why all the juniors leave. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you watch, in a few years, you watch him sign like Cody Walker or something like it. Who did they name at five eight this week? I think, I think it might have been Embi or Sullivan. I was, gonna, I, really I was about to say it would like I'd expect it to be Embi. I was about to say I reckon they'll name Embi this week, and then I was like, oh well, they've already named the team. Because that's the way they are. Like, they just don't play the young guys. Yeah, like, just... I'm pretty sure Sullivan's available. And the fact that, like, Aaron Woods is still there and bloody <laughs> yeah. who else is old that's there? <laughs> DeBellin's well past his prime, yeah, but DeBellin shouldn't even be playing anyway, that's but that's a whole different story. story. <laughs> yeah, we won't now. get into that. I'm actually getting shark shrubbers here trying to find the team yeah. list. Hang on, bear with me. Hey, they're not playing this week, the Dragons, oh, actually. They're not, yeah, they're not. Oh, they're not oh, oh, that's right. They haven't named anyone because they've got the yeah. buy. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I'll remember. So, yeah, so... Who do you reckon they go with, Sullivan or Empire? I reckon they will go with Empire, yeah. just because it's the draft. Do you think they should? No. no. Yeah, no, I'm you think it needs I don't think they should, but I think they will. But uh, do you think Terrell Sloan will play? Yeah, they, they if they pick Sullivan, they'll put those. I think Sloan. You reckon, That's the thing, You reckon yes. they go Empire so either, either, over Sloan? Yeah, yeah either, either there'll really be either Sullivan plays or Sloan plays. I reckon both of them will. Really? Which is... That's like, I think that's dumb, but I think you're right as well. Like, that's what you sort of expect from the Dragons. They just hate... Developing genius. Yeah, and then they always leave and then they wonder why. Uh, and then just their coach as well, he's pretty much at the end of his career. Yeah. He's done completely nothing since he's yeah. been there. And just, they're just a mess of a club. I remember when they signed him a couple of years ago, I was sort of confused as to why. Oh, I saw a lot of people were pretty was like, hyping it up yeah, as well. I think he's saying it's good for the juniors. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, obviously, yeah, obviously, clearly it's good for the juniors when you're naming M. Bob. Yeah, I reckon they'll go with if they get rid of him. I think oh, Dez. Well, well, I was going to say, I should have said this with the Knights, and I reckon the Knights would go for Dez. I think uh, first coach sacked, they go, go for Dez. Dez is the best on the and who else do you reckon? I think Dean Young's a good shout for the Dragons. Yeah. I think he's the one they yeah. want. If you got Flanagan, well, is, he's an assistant Flanagan's at Manly at the moment. He's been rumoured, though, for a I could see him now. landing at yeah, Dragons. Even Michael McGuire, where's he at? Yeah, true. I could see him. He's down in I'd see him at Knights more than Dragons. I think. Well, you know, they could get but the greatest coach of all time, Trent Barrett. Give him another step. He's a dragon. If the dragon <laughs> signed him, it would not surprise I, me. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've the, been the through upro- Trent Barrett. I can, that's a dragon's move. To the uproar that would happen. fit the club. <laughs> he would. <laughs> <laughs> like, he fits it. He fits the mould. Uh, where, where do you have them finishing? Um, Let's have a look. I've got them in last, but I've got so a, I. I've got an asterisk next to them, and the asterisk says unless they sack their coach. Yeah, yeah but you see, the thing is, I predicted them to come last at least ten times in the last. Yeah. Well, and at least so many times in the last second, it's never happened. Yeah, so I think, I'm but eventually they got it right. Yeah, but yeah, I've literally got an asterisk <laughs> that says unless they sack. Their coach and bring in Des. So, so you reckon if they sack? I think if I get, think Des has like can pull him off a spoon if he comes in like around around. Five, I don't reckon they, they do that. I reckon they put an interim in and then, then wait. Yeah, that's you'd assume that. that happens, and that's why like I think they'll get the spoon. But in like obviously it's unlikely. But if they do bring Des Hazard in then early enough, like mm-hmm. he can pull him off a spoon. But you'd assume if they sack a coach, they interim. 
yeah, and then give somebody the heads up for next season. Uh, let's move on to the Broncos. Yeah, the Broncos, okay. okay. Teams yeah. are getting better now. So we're going from the Dragons to have massive drama to the Broncos who also have a bit of off-field drama. Mm-hmm. What do you think about them heading into 2020? Oh, I... Well, they're, they're a hard team to judge because a lot of people have them outside the eight, which I disagree with because a lot of people forget the fact that they were a top four. They were literally like, top, they top four. Top four until the last month. Like, we don't know how different the season could have been. And that's never happened before. No team oh, I think, it happened, I think it happened to the Dragons oh, maybe 2018 yeah, maybe. or 17. Yeah, like, I remember they were top of the table yeah. and they missed the yeah. eight. But yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> just... Like, I think they will make the eight. I've got them in six, but, like, yeah. I think they just miss it. But, but the fact is, like, uh, there's, there's a lot of off-field drama, drama, and that's yeah, the yeah, only concern I have with them. I'm um, like, you look at what's happening there with obviously the main one being the players apparently not liking the coach. Yeah, yeah so and Cobo. Gamble came out like ages ago and said he didn't like him, and then moved, and then Cobo came out on so that podcast, and then what? and then Walters is I, I don't think he's extended yet, but he's been rumored to extend. If they make yeah. the eight this year, he will. Yeah, well, they, they miss it's it, a group yeah. rumoured now, and then you had like two or three players leave the same week that it was rumoured that he was going to extend. So it seems like the players don't like him. Mm, it no. seems like most of the players don't like him, and I think, I don't know if you can be a top eight side with how competitive it's going to be <laughs> yeah. if the drama's there. If they can get rid of the drama, they can definitely play yeah, five. I just team. think they were top four side last year. They're not going to like have a disastrous season like they did in 2021. Like, yeah. And I see him beating the teams I've got blown. So yeah. that's the reason I've got him. Yeah, that's fair. In the eight this year. I think if they just sort out whatever drama it is, they can definitely make the eight. Yeah, but it's interesting and to see if, how, if Reynolds and Walsh can how different last world. season could have panned out if they did make the eight. Because they, they really... Four. Yeah, if they were. If they finished top four last year, who knows what could have happened. It would have been crazy. Because at one point, I saw a lot of people saying they could make the grand final. They, that's yeah. how good they were playing. Yeah, they they were it playing. sounds crazy, but that's I how good they were playing. I watched them closer. They were playing so good. They were playing good. really good. Yeah, then that just, just, just yeah. fell. It was yeah. crazy. What about the Raiders? I've got down here not much happening, but it's a good yeah. squad. I don't have much saying about them. Like, they haven't signed anyone. Yeah, it's a good squad, but they were disappointed. It's not an improved before. squad, though. Like, yeah, everyone else not. around them is improved. Like, like I don't think they'll make the eight. I don't think they'll be around for the spoon but again I was saying I was saying this at the charity match the other day, I reckon the spoon could be a real surprise team that no one expects yeah, and I think the Raiders is like a you, team like that I don't think they will get it but I just think it'll be a surprise team like the Raiders like, or Broncos or Manly like a side no one expects it just has a really terrible year just an off year but yeah, the Raiders, with that, that, with that forward pack they shouldn't come last but and their back line's not that bad either to be honest they're just like a yeah, just like an above just, average roster. Yeah, yeah, they're just a side. Like, I just think, like, they're not bad, but the teams are just better than them. Look, I think their roster on paper, it, it, it can make the eight, but I don't think, based on the teams around them, I don't think they're Yeah, I just think teams are better than them. Yeah. Like, I just don't. That's not a knock on them. It's just yeah, everyone else is impressed. They are literally, the, like, the middle class team, yeah. and they are every single year. So yeah. yeah. Where do you have them coming? 11th. I'm oh, no, 12th, actually. I've got them at 12th so, as well. Yeah. And then your team... The Rabbitohs talk to me. What do you what do you see happening in Redfern? I've, I've got them winning the comp. It's, it's not a biased opinion. I just <laughs> honestly <laughs> reckon this is the year. Like, I'm, I'm more confident this season than, than I was in 2021, <laughs> which is ridiculous to think. But if Latrell Mitchell, Cody Walker, Kalama Matangi, Damian Cook, Campbell Graham, Cameron Murray, I could go on all day. Name the one to seven Oh yeah, the one whole the whole side. Even the bench is like they're gonna have a good year. They're gonna be top four. If they don't finish top four. There's a concern. When I sat down and like did up my ladder prediction, I looked at South and I went, "Hang on, this team can win the comp." I, I like obviously. I mean, a lot of people have done that. You, you reckon you're not being biased? I'm and not being obviously biased. Obviously, everyone's going to say you are being biased because yeah. you're just because you're a Rabbits fan. I saw a comment on your TikTok the other day, and somebody was like, "What a surprise the Rabbits fan thinks yeah. that they can win the comp, but they can. They I think can. they can. Like you look at Panthers, they've they've." Like, what's the opposite of you? Like the last three the years, Panthers has been there. And you look at the Rabbits, they were oh, beating the Rabbits 12... Ah, oh, sorry, the Rabbits were beating Panthers 12 nil. Then Coruscant came really, on. Yeah. That changed it. Panthers and Coruscant now. Yes. And they're missing kicker. So I but I've heard a stat, I think it was Entertain House that told me this. During that preliminary final, when CS were up 12 nil, Penrith's odds to win the comp went to $5. Yeah. Yeah. CS went to a dollar seven. Yeah. And then the game ended and, like... I remember before that game, I was thinking, whoever wins that game wins the comp. Yeah. 
It's like that was the grand final, and I feel like everyone's just forgotten that. That was the and like the year before, that was the grand final. Literally, I think was the grand final. It was a much better game. Yeah, it was a much better game. So yeah, I think before I went and did my ladder prediction, I sort of. Just, I guess I forgot about the Ravens almost. Oh, I don't know where I would have had them, but you, you look at them. You just sort of, they just sort of, yes, you don't really think about them because there's so much going on with the other teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I, I said, like, like, I've got, like, I've got them top four. Like, they're flying under, under the radar. radar. I've, I've got them in fourth. I've, I've got them in second. But I'd happily put them higher. I'd happily put them in premiers, to be honest. Yeah, I'd have them in second, but see, the thing is, they can. Mitchell's not there, I'm a bit worried. Yeah, well, I've got that they do, Mitchell has to be back. When they, they can score points, but they can also let in a lot of points. I don't know if that's because they slack off in the last 10 minutes. They can lose a game by 40 and then come out and win by 40 the next game. Oh, it's not even that. Like, they just, like, they always win their games, like, 42 to 26. Like, they let in a lot of points as well, yeah, like, which I think they need to fix up, and they've been like that for years. They've got a tough draw, too. They they've got a tough start, and, and then there's a middle period. There's like six weeks where they don't have play a home game. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's because of the FIFA yeah. Women's Cup. Yeah. 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 yeah, and their first buy isn't until round 15, which also worries me. So. <laughs> yeah, and like as I said, the first couple of weeks is like hard. Yeah. And these first few games, yeah, yeah they, Look, they could go 0 and 4 to start. Cronulla, which I think with Nico Hines out, I think they can win. Oh, yeah, yeah, think then Penrith at, at Penrith, then, then we got the Roosters, which we will win. And <laughs> And then Manly and I think Melbourne. So, you know, they're five reasonably difficult games. You're, yeah. But that's the thing, though. If you win a couple of them, then it sets you up even more. Like, I think yeah. you can lose all four of those games and still get yeah. top yeah, four. Yeah, still finish top four. But, like, if you can win well. a couple, which you probably can, because I, I think they'll all be close games. Yeah. yeah. And you could it could just go either way. But, yeah, I think Rabbits. And, and the, the other thing is that whilst Latrell Mitchell can kick a field goal, he's about the, their only option. Like, like Ilias hasn't proved to me yet that he can, um, you know, fire up in a close game. Yeah. And I think, you know, he's definitely capable of it, but I just haven't seen it. Well, I feel like yet. another preseason under his belt. Yeah, yeah but I think he's in. I reckon he can make the Origin squad this year. Really? Not the side, but I reckon he can be get in the squad. I it's Brad Pitt that'll pick a young guy like that as well. Yeah, yeah for it experience. is. So that's a big call, though. Yeah, that's a bold yeah, prediction. I'd, it is bold, but I honestly reckon he can do it. What about the Roosters? I know how much you love I'm the not, Roosters. I'm not going to say that. I know how but... much you love them. What do you think? How do you think they obviously they've added cheese to the roster? Obviously, uh, I'm going to cop it for saying it's going to be out for quite some time yeah, with mental right, health I'm, stuff. I don't think we'll mention what happened. Yeah, we, we won't yeah, mention yeah, it, but like obviously yeah. he's out with mental health issues. But I know people are going to come at me here and be like, oh, yeah, just a yeah, South fan, but I think we're overhyping the cheese a bit. Yeah. Like, I don't think... He, whole, like, I see people saying he's going to be, like, well, the sign of the year. I don't think so. But I see people saying he's going to be in for the best year of his career, and I disagree. I don't think he's going to carry the Roosters side to a comp, win a comp. I think he's definitely got to change... Because, like, at Storm, he was a lock. Like, he wasn't the hook. He played hooker, but his body's tight. He's lock, and I think he's got to change his body tight. Yeah. A lot. Like, you looked at him in the World Cup playing hooker. Like, he couldn't. Yeah, play for 80 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Or like, even 50 minutes. So, unless he's done, like, a lot of... Like, be, if he's been smashed in preseason, then maybe. Because, like, he used to be... At, before he got moved to lock, he was really good at hooker. But mm-hmm. it's very hard to, like, change body shapes. That and really I think he's got a real attitude problem as well. And that's the reason why the Melbourne Storm got really Yeah. Really uh, yeah, well, it's not attitude. like Storm just let people walk that easily. Mm-hmm. Like, if they wanted him, you'd shoot. Like, they... Got rid of Finucan to like keep cheese, mm-hmm. but then let him walk. I think the way he went about his signing as well, yeah, didn't sit too well with not just on like Dolphins didn't like it yeah. either. Uh, they also got Tedesco, who you know is the best player in the comp. But however, I think a lot of their top side is aging, especially in the forwards. Yeah. I think Rhea Hargraves is pretty much on his last yeah. year. Spencer Lenny signs that even. he'll go. Yeah, Tupo is rumored to be. And Luke Kiri worries me as well. Like I look, struggle to find their back line's probably one of the best in the comps, but their forwards I just think yeah. are aging a lot now. Yeah. And that's what I think is going to hold them back from winning the comp. I still got them finishing third, and I think they'll take on the Rabbitohs in the grand final. You're going how good would that be? Roosters, I've been wanting. I've got like. Roosters at second, but I, usually they start slow. If they start they slow, do. I don't think they'll finish that high. But if they start. As good as they can. I don't, I don't think, think they're going to be first. So that's no, yeah, I, I don't see. I don't see anyone except Panthers coming first. But even yeah. Panthers, I'm like, I'm like they, after I don't the know trolls, if they will get first. I thought I'm not yeah, worried about their. I think the trolls, like they, they were yeah, I'm not. But I just, I, they're still going to be right up there. Though, yeah, I think the thing. Roosters. The, the other thing with the Roosters is they've got so many chefs in the kitchen, so to speak. They've got 
Manu, Tedesco, Sortlee, Cheese now, yeah. Kiri, Walker. Like, there's so many big players. It's almost too much. Like, yeah. how do you deal with all them? I don't know how uh, Like, you have to get all those players involved. Exactly. Like, like, like Manu loves to get a hit. Jackson Paulo as well. Yeah. Dominic, Dominic Young's Young. coming. Yeah, like, like, there's just so much, like, superstars in that team. And they all have to play a role somehow. And I don't know if there's going to... Like, Cheese, like... His running game probably isn't going to be a factor because he's going to have to be hitting Manu and yeah. hitting Tedesco. Like, exactly. do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's like, what I mean by people gonna, are over high. Yeah, like he's he's not there to be a superstar and carry him to the finals because they already have the players to carry them. Like he's yeah. there to like just feed the other players basically. Exactly. That's, that's not that's, what he's best at. Yeah, they've signed the wrong type of football. Yeah, though. I think that, I agree 100. Ah. percent They've signed the wrong type. I love Chase. I think he's good. I think he'd be really good at other clubs. Yeah, I don't know if he suits yeah. what the Roosters I mean, are. I mean, I'm a South fan. I'm probably harsh on him. They'll probably win the comp. <laughs> and it wouldn't surprise me, but we won't try and mention that because I don't want to see it happen. <laughs> I, it's hard to pick a winner of the comp. We'll get to that, though. We'll get yeah. to that. Let's look at Storm. There's a, like, they're, they're a very, very interesting side yeah, because I've, there's, there's a lot of people reckon this is the year they're finally going to drop, but you just can't write them. Well, every year we say. Every year, I know. Like and the there's the been a few ladder predictions right. where I've had seen people have a missed the eight, really? which is huge call. Cool. Like, I don't think they can miss the eight. I don't. With, with Bellamy there, there they're making the eight. That's what, what I have to say. I've got a minute seven. Their forward pack is honestly pretty, pretty, pretty quiet at the moment. Yeah, that's like, the, I saw their lineup for this weekend. I'm like, mm, have did, their bench. I didn't recognise some of them. Oh yeah, the bench, but even yeah, their back row. That's what I mean. Like all the literally who are their back row? Yeah, literally. Well, they got like Katawa from the Warriors who had like a good. Not even a good season, a good yeah. period of games once. Yes. I think he can be good at this but one. Then it seems they forwards worry me, but their spine, it's like four of the best players in the competition. Yeah. And that's what's going to carry There's a lot of pressure on whole That's why like, Papenhausen's obviously out to start the season. He is. That's why yes. I've got him low in the eight, because I think they struggle until he, he comes is. back. I've got, I've got him in fourth. Fourth? Yeah. I reckon they're still I think fourth. it all depends on when Papenhausen comes back. The earlier he comes back, the higher they finish. after reading over, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to put him at fifth. Who are you bumping into for? Sharks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sharks. That's fair. But yeah, I think, like, yeah, obviously, Pat has yeah. they've got a uh, light forward pack. I think one big factor is that Bellamy's come out and said that this is probably his last year. Yeah, if it's his last tell. year... I mean, even tell at the end of last year, he just looked... He like doesn't look... Like, he just looks tired, yeah, and, like, he's ready to finish Yeah, I th- but, like, I can't see him not winning another comp before he... Yeah, and, and I, I think, think he, he, he knew at right the back end of the last year that, like, Melbourne weren't a chance. So he's just, like, waiting for the year to end. Like, it was in that game against the Raiders. Yeah, yeah. You just tell, he's just like... Let's finish for the year. Yeah, I think Done. if if it is his last year, that could be like a massive fact. Like that's Bellamy's last mm-hmm. year. Yeah, they, they can win the comp this year with that side that they've got. got. Be impressive. Incredible. That four yeah. pack, like, yeah. <laughs> I think their system's like slowly running out of players. We're seeing the back end of that infamous system. But I'm sure there's some player down there that's there's got to be huge. Like, there's got to yeah. be. We'll find out. Like Will Warburton. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's just come out of nowhere. Obviously, he's not a forties of wing up, but like. They do. They still do pull them out of nowhere. It's just less that they pull out. Yeah. Um. What about the Eels? They play the Storm on Thursday. They do. I think the Storm winning it though. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll soon. get to that. I've. I, this is hard to say. But I've got to miss in the eight. <laughs> miss in the eight, which is. It was, it was hard, hard because I just. The teams that are in the eight are just better than them at the moment. Even the Titans are just a better side than them. So you got Titans in the eight, I and do. Not the yeah, not the Eels, and that's what I copped. I got I copped it on TikTok. Oh. For that as well. I copped it on TikTok for that as well. But I just I'm worried for I'm about them. I just reckon they're gonna drop a lot worse than what people. Why? Like I know Marnie, Marnie and Papali are huge for him, but. Hodgson, like, he was good back in his time, but I think he's past yeah. it. And who else do I have in the back row? Like, like to replace Papa Lee? Well, this weekend, they, well, well, yeah, Madison and Lane out. out. They've got Dory as one, who's from the Bulldogs. He was like, he went all right for the Bulldogs, but he's not, like, that good of a replacement. Yeah. How do I see the team? Is this oh, you're on the wrong game there. Oh, yeah, that's round two. Yeah, that, yeah true. Or round three, actually. Hang on, bear with me. The Eels. Yeah, do we really want to pretty, like, like average, average their back row. row. Oh, Kara was the other one. Oh, which God, is he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think he, he might be the replacement for Papali, actually. Yeah, oh, I think dear. so. He'll, he's named on that, yeah, oh, on that left edge. 
So you'd assume he gets yeah, I just, Madison, It's a bold, bold call, but I just reckon, reckon like every, every year I see top eight predictions are pretty similar to what they were the year before. Yeah. And this year I just reckon Parramatta are going to be that team that drops a lot They've got a pretty weak bench this weekend at least. Obviously there is players to come into this squad. And Clint Gutherson, I just have a gut feeling that he's going to get injured this year. Really? That's a It's a weird thing to say, but I just see it happening. And it's the same, same thing for the Rabbitohs with Damien Cook. Cook. I have just this real gut feeling that he's going to get injured this year. Cool, yeah. Who's the replacement? Yeah, me, yeah. Peter Mamazoulis. Yeah. So, if I have really complained yeah. for a little while, but. Injury, that's a big And cool. the reason I want Mamazoulis to play is because he follows me on TikTok and I want to see him. Out there, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shout out, Mam. Yeah. What is it, Mamazoulis? Peter Mamazoulis, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm not Brent Naden Brent, Brent Naden follows, follows me as well so Really? Yeah, Brent Naden How good I used to have a Rare any... chance that he does watch this <laughs> I'm, I'm just, He's a regular what, uh, Watcher or listener Of the podcast actually Brent Is he? Probably not <laughs> <laughs> I don't know He might be Share that Naden If you yeah. are Come on the show bro <laughs> We'll get you on I'm not the opposite But I, I've got them Making the eight I think they're being Slept on a little bit I think obviously Marnie, big loss, Papa Lee, big loss. They, they will make, make me look stupid, like, like you watch. They'll make well, they also might not, though. They are yeah, a team they can just drop out of nowhere. They've yeah, done they it can. in the past and they can do it again. But I think, I don't know if you can go to a grand final. Like They have lost players, but I think Moses, Brown, yeah, I think they're be, good enough to get yeah, into the A. They'll be similar to South last year. Like, year. like they, they you know, know, lost a few players. Uh, at the end of 2021, then they struggled a bit to start the season, but they ended up making yeah, it. Yeah, I think they, they can, can be similar to crawl season. into the top eight. I don't, yeah. I don't have them winning the comp. Yeah. I don't have them going deep into the finals. In fact, based on uh, my ladder here, I wouldn't be surprised if they, get, if they lose week one because I've got them coming sixth. And then that would be, if my ladder yeah, takes yeah, out, it's Storm at seventh. I think in final Storm probably could take the Eels. But that's scene. looking what so far ahead. Weird yeah. seen a prediction with the Storm that low. I've got Storm that low. Yeah, yeah some say seventh is low. I think the path it doesn't look like it's coming back anytime soon. Yeah. But yeah, I think the Eels they can do enough to get to sixth, but I think they're a little bit slept on to be honest. Yeah, I don't think enough. they'll like they're, they're definitely big losses and. I don't think Hodgson's a good enough replacement. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I do. They, think they, they're a side that should have gone for the cheese. Yeah, I reckon they. Yeah, should he would have really, fit it perfectly. Yeah, he would have. I, I can't. It's hard to picture him in the Eels. I know, but that. he. Rec- I reckon he would have been the perfect. Yeah, I think. I think they've still got a good enough squad there to get like top eight, and they're like, yeah. Yeah. As I said, they they are a team that can just drop randomly, but it's I think just, they make the eight. I probably. think the Eels are going to be the droppers. I think the Titans are going to be the big prizes. Yeah, and that's, that's the yeah. only like I probably could have in the end had Titans at nine. And, yeah. I just wanted to be and it is going to be close I think like as I said it could be two points separating fifth and tenth yeah, yeah. it could be like that tight what about the cows yeah, yeah that, that was, was a surprise team last year that I was talking, talking about, about. Yeah. but <laughs> Yeah, yeah incredible, incredible year, but I didn't, didn't think. I thought they were a little bit like, like sort of like flat trap for bullies, and there's another yeah. side that made the top four, which I think were like that as well. But I just think like they didn't really beat full strength top sides. Yeah, like they beat Panthers. Yeah, yeah when they were weak, they pumped the storm. When they, they pumped the storm when they were weak. Yeah, but like yeah, when they went up against the top side, like the Rabbitohs and Panthers at full strength pumped them, didn't they? Yeah, I think. yeah Parramatta got them in the prelim. I just yeah. I think, I think now, now that because I think the reason they, they finished so high is because teams just saw them as a side. Yeah, they were like, sort of slept now, now they're looked at this season as a big threat of the competition. Yeah. I think more, more teams, teams are going to be on to them. Teams will prepare better. For yeah, them. prepare better. And I think I put them a bit of a drop. I think seventh. I've put them. Oh, just below seven. the I reckon they're just. Oh, I think I've got them. I think people yeah. who are saying they win the comp this year are just. Oh, looking no, at one, se- one season alone, alone but, but I just think, think like, like I don't think they're top four this year. I just yeah, think, I agree. You know, people are overhyping them again. Like, I just think they're going to drop. I've got them at fifth. I think like they're basically the same team as last but, year. Again, we're saying how close it's going to be. Yeah, like I think they're going to be incredible. Like they they are going to pump the bottom teams. I mean, yeah. pump them yeah. for the class. But I just think I just don't. But then when it's against those top, four, yeah, like I think the Panthers can beat them. The Rabbits can beat them. Like, Bruce they haven't Bruce beaten the Rabbitohs in since, like, 2017, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I think the Roosters, the Roosters can beat them, the Storm can beat them. Like, it's just... I don't know. They're there's really not much improvement then. They're really just building off last but, season. Yeah, I think, I think they're, they're still... Like, they'll definitely make the I think there's a chance last season was a fluke. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I see, see a lot of people saying that, that and I don't disagree, but I just... I still, like, I've got no fifth, but, like, there is a, a world where last season was a complete flu. Yeah, and, and then what, what they missed, the eight finished 12th this year. Yeah. You, you yeah. can see that happening. I can, I'm not, I don't think it'll happen, but I can see it happening, yeah. Yeah. So, and as we, as we keep saying, like, how close it's going to be, that could be, like, you could, losing one or two games, like, if they drop a game, say, against the Tigers or the Bulldogs, like, that can be a big difference yeah. in there. But I, I think they come fifth. Yeah, I think they're close to the four. Yeah, in that area, I can't disagree. What about, are you alluded to another team that you think were a bit of flat track bullies last year? The Sharks, I was yes. talking about. Yes. What do you think of the Sharks? The Sharks were flat track, track bullies last year, and they proved it in the semi finals when they went out of straight yeah, sets. They they, 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 they had a very easy draw, and, and I look at their side, and I'm like, should they have really finished second? Like, 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 apart from Nico Hines, Hines, who was like nasty, you rank in the top tier. Yeah. Pretty much every other player wouldn't put it, even put in the A tier. Like, I wouldn't have any player higher than B tier. For the position or just overall? Or just for the, the, like, as an overall player. Yeah. Like, I honestly don't rate... Hard time, rate, yeah. I just don't rate the Sharks. Like, they didn't like, have that just, many rare players. Like, they had Talakai. Yeah, exactly. Well, Talakai. That was he, he shouldn't have even played. Yeah, them. exactly. Like, they do have... They, they don't have rep players. players. And, like, they're you know, good they team, work well together. Players, yeah. Yeah, like, and just... They, you I had a very, very easy draw they last year. Like they, I know they beat the Storm at yeah. one point, but again, the Storm had a lot the of injuries. The thing is, though, they've got a pretty decent draw again this year. Yeah, they do. And they were impressive during the trials. I've, well, I had, I haven't fifth here, but I switched them just yeah. to put them at fourth. But Hines is injured to start the season as well. He, he yeah, is, like They yes. play Rabbit Week 1. That's, yeah. Like, at the end of the season, that's a big... When well, I made my video on TikTok on it yesterday, I thought he was playing, and I said it would be close yeah. and the Rabbits will win, but I think they can win... I think Rabbit's win with I'm going to say it's like 26 to 14, like yeah. some exact score line like that. Yeah, and like when you look at jump forward to round 27, those two points this weekend can be pretty valuable. Yeah. Like that can be the difference between fourth and fifth. I, like it. I wouldn't rule the Sharks off making the grand final either. Like Fitzgibbon's like very underrated as a coach. Like I think if he can win a couple of comps, he can be considered an elite coach. Yeah. I've got them at third, but I'd yeah. happily put them lower. Yeah. And, oh, I don't know. I, don't, I probably wouldn't. Uh, I, want to put, I want to put them lower, but I want to put them higher as yeah. well. Yeah. That's the thing. I think third. I don't see him. I think, I think after, after a few weeks, I can get a better read on them. Yeah. Well, that's like we haven't right. seen anyone. Like, yeah. We're going off like last season's form and then basically just guessing. And then trials, which are very unreliable. Yeah. It, like you, if you did this sort of predictions and they got after good one week as well. so much. they got good, good players like, coming through there's, I think they're a better team this year than they were last year yes and, and I, I do I think, I think there is a premiership coming to them within yeah. the next five years I think they can yeah. and they can't like with those yeah. new yeah. they're building to it yeah they're building to it they're building to that that like Hines will win a comp even their system their system's looking good yeah that's looking it really is. good their junior system yeah. speaking of good junior systems the Panthers okay, the last team what do you reckon? Obviously, they've lost Appy, they've lost Kickout. Which Appy is a bigger loss than what people think he, he is. Because yeah. he would come on off the bench, and there were games last year where they'd start off, not, I wouldn't say slow, but teams would, were above them. You look at that prelim 12 0, oh, yeah. Appy comes on 12 all yeah, after five minutes. There were a few occasions where he'd come on, just turn the game, and they don't have yeah. Appy this year. And that's the reason they put him on the bench. Can they come back from games yeah. without Appy there? Sonny Luke is. The man that's yes, replacing he's not Appy. Appy. He's not Appy, Appy, but, Appy but he's as close as it gets to. He's the same style yeah. of player. So he's, he's not. He's, he's not Appy. Starting on the bench. Yeah, he's starting on the bench. They've got Kenny, Kenny at hooker, yeah, 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 yeah. and then Sonny Luke on the bench. So he, Sonny Luke's essentially playing the same role as Appy, and he's not as good as Appy, but I think he's the same as Appy was like five years ago. Say, mm-hmm. he's on that path. He's that's kind of like Panthers on his way out, I think, and Crichton's on his way. He's going to want one more. It's the last. Have, have you no. seen the last dance, the Michael Jordan documentary? Yeah. It's that sort of vibe. Yeah, you know, it's like one last dance. Yeah. Into the dog and probably won't get a comment. Yeah. yeah. Twenty twenty four premieres, baby. Yeah. Who probably end up at the top yeah. actually as well. And then you like they're all. Yeah. Like, they're you know, they're, they're, they're all end up at the dogs yeah. at one point. Well, well yeah. I I think realistically. I think they're going to be hungry. They do all end up at the dogs. And Nathan Cleary. Best player in the competition. I think he's about down there. I think if he can but, stay healthy, yeah. He wins last season down. he got that send off. He probably would have got it. Yeah. Um. The year before he had a bit of injury. Yeah. He probably could have got. Yeah. The year before that was the TikTok drama. Yeah. And he would have. He's due. Hey, he's yeah, due. He will get it. Like that's three. I think the not last year. The year before when he was injured, he came second. He played like half yeah. the season. And yeah. it was when and it was when Turbo won it with like. Yeah. Like the best individual season ever. Oh, yeah. 
and Turbo came in the season that like cause he yeah didn't start, like he just came like he was that good like yeah. Cleary's been so close I think he's so due like he's, won he's the best player in the game all, two premierships a world cup state of origin yeah no um, never a he needs a medal like Clark Churchill there yeah not. Yeah, I think yeah, if I had to predict Dalian winner, I'd say clear it. Yeah, he's just the easy choice. He's, he's, the, easy he's choice, the easy choice, yeah. The easy choice to go with. All right, so that's our team previews. I think we missed one, didn't we? Did we? Oh, Who? oh I didn't put yeah. the Dolphins down. I mean, You're right. right. I didn't, because I was, I, the way I did, I went off the ladder, and obviously they went off the ladder last year. Yeah. What do you reckon of the Dolphins then? I, I don't know, like... Wait, yeah, sorry, where do you have the Panthers finishing? I have them first. Yeah, same. All right. When we head yeah, to the same. other way, I have the Dolphins at 16. Yeah. Like, you don't have much to say. Like, their forwards are experienced. Like, like they've got experienced players, and the rest of their team is not experienced. The reason the forwards are experienced is because they're old as well. Yes, exactly. Like, yeah, it's an aging forward. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Like, I yeah, 100% like, agree. We've never seen them play, so we can't really get a yeah, read on them, but I just don't think they're in for a good year. You look at teams. Their first ever of the year as well. You look at teams like Bulldogs, Tigers with new signings, and you're like, oh, they'll probably start slow because they've got to build combinations. Yeah. The Dolphins have 17 blokes that have never played football together. Yes, exactly. Including that. a rookie 5'8", yes. an aging yeah, yeah, forward pack, no, and a back line they, of New South Wales Cup they players. They left Milford out of the side yeah. along with this guy, which is very interesting. But I've seen Katoa play. I think, I think they've got a good system as well for their juniors, but that's the problem there. Good juniors, but they're very yeah, they have to wait. Yeah, they have to wait a couple of years for him to be ready. Wayne Bennett there, you never know. But the thing is, he's not even there for that long. Like obviously, we're, we're just looking at this season. Coach, you can't this season, yeah. Well, you look at Queensland in twenty twenty. I think they're a sixteenth place, but I'm this is bold saying so. I would not be surprised if they finished tenth, eleventh. Yeah, with Wayne Bennett there, it would not. Yeah, surprise well, me like, you never there. know with Wayne Bennett. Yeah. But at the same time, I can see him coming like dead last yeah. winning two games yeah. all year. And we don't know, like we've never seen them that play. jersey that they're wearing that they do finish at the bottom. They, so they, they don't get when it comes to jersey tears, that, that jersey is at the bottom. One, that away one looks like a half made. Jersey. It looks like what's that chocolate? The away one. Yeah, it's like the no, it Kinder like, Burro. Like, like the white, just yeah. looks like it's like they haven't finished making Yeah, it's like a colouring in that you've only done the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Pisses me. I don't get it. Like why did they go gold or something? Gold. Like you know how the well, so you know gold. I know it's, it's cream, but it's cream. meant to be gold. If yeah, it was like, actually gold, the club cannot tell me yeah. that, that is gold. Like, like you look at the 49ers in the NFL, yeah. that's gold. gold. The yeah. Dolphins are cream. <laughs> like it's yeah. literally and the cream. The aim of gold is so they can switch away from the dragons. Yeah, I like if it was gold, it would look good. Yes, but it's but it's not gold. It's cream. Yes. <laughs> and then they went red shorts though. Oh, like, yeah, a, like oh, it's a disaster. I've got them coming 15th, but like, I agree. Wayne Bennett, you never know. They could finish higher, but they could also get the spoon and yeah. win no games all year, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's the team preview. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's rip into... To... Again, I think that is all of them. Yeah, oh, that's definitely all of them now. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Dolphins fans. If, well, I don't think there is any Dolphins fans yet. All the Dolphins fans are probably all two of them. right now. Yeah. Yeah, there's nobody in this room for those watching. <laughs> <laughs> Except me and Zane, and we're not Dolphins fans. Mm-hmm. I'm not on the bandwagon. All right, Eels Storm. The Storm are the favourites. They've got Will Warbrick and Katoa there, yeah, two notable inclusions. Should just get my video up and get them just hold Yeah, just, you just like, go and check it. It's Zane's TikTok. That's yeah. the rest of the podcast. Uh, and then Eels have Hopgood there. That's do you want a mark the prediction as well? Yeah, why not? Yeah. We'll go, who do you think is going to win? And, yeah, margin. Yeah, so first try score, maybe? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. hang on. Now that you've mentioned it, Shout out to Picklebat. I've got a sponsor, Zane. Can you believe it? Yeah, Picklebat. Yeah. Have you heard of Picklebat? Yeah, I do know. Yeah, so I messaged, I had my manager message all the betting companies and Picklebat have decided to jump on board. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you head to the link in, I'll put the link in the description, TikTok bio, get on Picklebat. Yeah. Shout out to Picklebat. This is this whole segment is now brought to you by Picklebat. Shout out to Picklebat. Give me a shout out to Picklebat. Shout out to Picklebat. There you go. Yeah. Listen to Zane. So we're going to go margin, any time for us to up. Okay. And winner, and this is all. Yeah. This is you're placing that top pick of that. Storm versus Parramatta. I've got the Storm winning by about eight. And first try scorer, let's go. Bailey Simonson from Parramatta. Ooh. First try scorer of the season. Oh, we're going first try scorer. Oh, did you say no, eight times? We'll go. I like first. Like, there's more value in first. Let's go well, first try scorer. Eight times even. So yeah, him as well. Yeah. 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 So you, how much do you say Storm? One to twelve. I can stop by eight. 
Still by Apple. I think we're going Parramatta to have their full squad. I would back them in this game because they've got a very good record against the Storm yeah. lately. But the they're Storm, far from of their last six. Yes, but they've also the Storm have a very good round one record. Yeah, I haven't lost since like two thousand and three. But if, yeah, Madison and um, Trelane are out, so I'm, I'm going to go with the Storm this game. But I think both of those. <laughs> Both of their second rowers for both sides are pretty weak. Yeah, the Storm's yeah. bench is weak. So, yeah, I just think the Storm are going to have a little bit too much room in this game. But, yeah. Well, I, 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 I've just got the odds up here. I thought I'd give a shout out to the odds, according to Picklehead, obviously. So the Storm are at $1.71 and the Eels are two fourteen. Now, earlier in the week, I was leaning towards the Eels, but now I'm back on the Storm. I think if you want value, though, if you're, if you're a betting man, I'd bet on the Eels, I think. 240 is pretty good value in Parramatta. Yeah. Five from the last six. But yeah, I think yeah, Storm get it favorites. done. Yeah, okay. Storm are the favourites. I assume they're the favourites because they don't lose round one games. Like the, if I'm going any time try scorer, yeah, it's, like, it's crazy. If I'm going any time try scorer, hmm, maybe. Who did you say? You said Simon. Oh, you said Simon's the first try scorer. Yeah. I don't know. Who are the store? You know what? I'm going to get a little wall brick. Yeah, I like it. He's, he's, yeah, at first try score, any time try score. Yeah. We'll just assume both. First try of the season. Be first try of the season, we'll wall brick. That's yeah, my prediction. Yeah. I'm going to go Storm. You said by A. I'll go... I think it'll be close. I'll go by Storm by six. Storm by six. Yeah. yeah. All right. The second game, Warriors Knights. Yes. Let me have a look at who... The, I know the Warriors are the favourites. I don't know what the actual was. Who even knows these sides? It's, in, pretty... it's in Wellington, if that affects you. Yeah, I've already, that, <laughs> that reason I did pick the Warriors. So the Warriors are $1.55 and the Knights are two forty seven. dollars Warriors always play well in Wellington, so I'm going to go pretty... Yeah. I said Warriors by 18. Yeah, and then try Anytime try scorer, let's go. Oh, I'm going to say... Oh, I don't want to pick a winger. I want to be more interesting. Let's say... Well, the Knights can't defend that well, so Sean Johnson should get through. I'm going to go Ooh, Sean Johnson. Sean Johnson. There'd yeah. be some value in that. Yeah. I'm going to go the offside, but I think the Knights win. You reckon? They, they can go either way. They're either going to fall apart and be terrible, or they're just going to click. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I don't think they'll click, but I think they can. And like the worst side is pretty average, in my opinion. So I'm going to go the Knights to win. And any time try scorer, it's hard to look past Dom Young. Yeah. I think he... Yeah, if I was looking at the Knights, I probably would have gone with him. Yeah. There you go. So you got Warriors by how much? Did you say by how much? 18, I said. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I'll go Knights. You know what? I'm going to go Knights by a field goal. Really? Yeah. Field Knights goal by really well. I don't know why, but that's just the vibe I'm getting. Right. The Warriors lost by a field goal last season. They did. The season in New Zealand. So I reckon Dom Young any time nights by a field goal. Fair enough. What's the next game, Zane? Penrith Broncos, Broncos, it is. Who are you winning that? I wonder who... Like, it's at Penrith, so I just can't tip against Penrith, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than what people expect. If it was at Brisbane, would you go Broncos? You know what? Yeah, I would. You would? I would at the moment. Really? At the moment, I would. You'd go Broncos over I'm there. looking at their side now. Well, it says here, Selwyn Cobo is named at fullback for yeah, this game. Yeah, he is Walsh's out. Yeah. So, but you go on Panthers, obviously, yeah. it's and, in Penrith. Yes, so, uh, and I have a rule. I never tip against Penrith when it's there. I don't ever tip against them anyway, there. but... But when they play at Penrith... Yeah, it's just position. certain. And I think it's going to be closer than what people expect it to well, be. And when I say closer, I'm going to say Penrith by 10. Yeah, but and, you, like, obviously, the line's like 20, I think. Really? Like, which means, like, it's like a ninety for them to win by 20, which is right. a lot. Hmm. I think I agree. I think it'll be closer than some people think. I'll go, yeah, 10 a good number. I think I'll go 12. And then for any time try score, let's go with the new guy at Penrith, Luke Garner. Garner, I don't Garner. mind that. Take it, yeah, let's see. I don't mind that. Scott I'm going to go with the new guy. Well, he's not new, but he's a rookie. Does Drew even count as a rookie? I don't know how many games. Nah, nah, I wouldn't. Has he played too many? He probably nah, has. He played a couple last year. I don't know. I remember Well, I'm going to go to Ruve yeah. this time. I think he's on the wing. He is, I don't know yes. What he's on number two. He's on Talamay's side. Left, Toto right. Toto's because they yeah. switched because of maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, I think I, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'll go to Ruva, which I assume he's on the left edge. Yeah. I'll go the left winger. Yeah, for the left winger, yeah, like, you like that left edge. Like so either Toto or Ruva. Yeah, 
And then, how much did you say Panthers bought? I said 10. 10, I reckon 12, I said, yeah. So, same page there. Yeah. And then we got Manly Bulldogs, you go first. This game was a very, like, toss of the coin, but I think the Bulldogs still have a little bit to go. And I think out at Manly, Trevojevic being back, they'll get a big crowd. It's on a nice day, I believe it's going to be. I think Manly are going to get over him. I'm going to say by about 10 as well, after yeah. that. I think Manly by 10. And any time try scorer, Tom Trevojevic. Yeah, Come on. I'm the same. Come so on. I think Manly... I think if it was a Bulldogs home game, I reckon Bulldogs can win. If it was, if, but the other thing is we've got... The I think for Bulldogs, any time try, I'd go Billy kick out. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I rate that. I think Manly win purely because Saturday. But I reckon it's going to be. I don't reckon it's going to be high scoring. I, I'm probably going to be wrong. The last two games were just I feel. I know, but every time I, my, my predictions are always stupid. I reckon it's going to be like a fourteen to four, like yeah. eighteen to eight, like really, really low scoring. On a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. I reckon the high scoring. You reckon? I think Manly can do a number on us. I just have this vibe that it's going to be low scoring, but I'll probably look very stupid As looking back at this. Fan, the vibe I'm getting is like Manly to win by forty. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, dude, it's like be embarrassing. Sunday, It'll be embarrassing. Sunny, Tom, we, like they're, they're riding the high of winning the preseason. If Manly win this by 40. Big crowd. If Manly win this by 40, I can't wait to watch out on 360. Why? Because it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, true. Oh, hey. good. I just think, like, the I think it'll be mainly by 40, but they're, like, pretenders, though. I don't think they'll come out and win their next five games by 40. Yeah. I think it'll be, like, a one-off performance. And not because the Bulldogs play bad. I think the Bulldogs can still play all right. I just think the type of game it is, like, at Brookvale, Tom Trevojevic is back. They've just won the preseason challenge. Yeah. The vibes are there. I think they can... Just come out and yeah. put points on. I hope, I hope they don't. But we're going predictions, and that's yeah. that's my prediction. Yeah. And by the way, yeah. my f- microphone keeps disconnecting. I've had to reconnect oh, it like about four that. times. So hopefully, be- I hope my audio keeps yeah. getting caught. Cool. Like, well, I'll have to play around with that. Probably have to cut a bunch of the podcast, but yeah. also I'll just see what happens there. It's Are you fun, like, it's fun doing start? it. Maybe there's uh, a I just have time. To- no, no, I think like if I move this or something, it like stops and I've just got to, but you know, oh, well, this is still fun doing this. this, this so. Yeah, it's a good chat anyway. Yeah. Well, and like, I'll, I'll get a better set up in the future. And I think Tom Trevojevic. Yeah, anytime. anytime yeah. Uh, Cowboys, Raiders. I said in my video, I think this will be the biggest margin of the week. I just think the Raiders were disappointing in the preseason challenge. And I did say I think the Cowboys will drop, but I think up there in the Townsville heat is something the Raiders aren't yeah. used to. I'm going to tip the Cowboys by 28. Try scorer? Anytime try scorer. No. Yeah. Jeremiah, no, come on. I think I think Raiders usually struggle up there. In the they do, yeah. So I'll definitely go Cowboys. I'll go Cowboys. I reckon Cowboys 40 to 12 to be exact score. I reckon they can get in the 30s. I reckon they can hold Raiders under 10. So I'll go, I'll go Cowboys by 30. Right. And I'm going to go... Like a 36 to 30 uh, sort of line. Yeah, something like 36 that. 36 to yeah. 30, 36 yeah, something to like 6, I meant. Yeah, 36 to 6 or like 34 or something. Yeah, like that. What's the last one his name? I just forget his name. Is it Tulungi? Tulungi, yeah. yeah. I'll go Tulungi anytime for us. Yeah. Love my wingers. Um, Sharks, Souths. I wonder who you think is winning this. Uh, I think Souths are winning it. I said in my last video, off my TikTok, I think it'll be close, but with Hines out, I think they can win by a bit more. I'm going to say Rabbitohs by 12. And any time try a scorer, Alex Johnson. Yeah. I mean, come on. Like, really, Alex Johnson? Yeah. You reckon he's going to score a try? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if he's going to score a try, man. That's, that's pretty bold. You reckon? Yeah. That's a bold region. Yeah, I think South win. I think they'll win. I don't think Sharks can hold up, hold up without the Hines, to be honest. Yeah. I'm going to go South by 20. You reckon? At Shark I Park. I know it's a Shark which Park, was, but I just think... Nearly sold out. They've moment. trained the whole preseason with Hines and he's out. Mm. Lay, I think. And I think South can score. catch him off guard. Johnson's too obvious. I'm going <laughs> to go Tass. Yeah, yeah. Or Thompson. Tass is on his If Tass is on his edge, if I he's think, the left, so yeah. If he's the left centre. And Tass is on Johnson's side. Yeah. yeah with Mitchell Tass, and then. Walker as well. Yeah. Oof. He's on the right Tass as well. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. Um... And then Dolphins, Roosters. Well, I said, again, in my TikTok, I reckon this game's going to be a lot closer. I don't reckon really? the Roosters will run yeah, over them. Really? I reckon the Dolphins, all their supporters, which, you know, they do have a... Like, all their supporters will be there. And I yeah. think they're going to be really fired up. Because it's upset. their home game. Yeah, it's their Isn't home it game. I think they, yeah, it's at Suncourt. But I think they're going to be really fired up to get an upset here. And I'd love it to happen against the Roosters. Yeah. Like, just, 
they'd cop it online. You, you're going Dolphins. I'm not going Dolphins. <laughs> I'm going Roosters. I'm going Roosters by about 14. But yeah. I don't think they're going to run over him. Like, people expecting Roosters win by, like, 36. Yeah. I don't see Roosters. Like then, then any time try scorer, I think this is the type of game where James Sesco will score. Yeah, I like that. Like, I think he will just like break that. the line on his own and get there. Or just in support. Like, yeah, in a support yeah. play. Yeah, a runaway right try. Yeah. Yeah. I like, see I'd see it happening in this I'm game. I'm going to go Roosters eight by 18. I agree. I don't think they'll flog them. I think maybe, maybe like... I think they'll run away with it within the last like yeah. fifteen minutes. Like I think the Dolphins yeah. will really it can be a give, contest, give like it to him. But I think yeah, they'll just get a few late away. tries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or it'll be a sort of like twenty six to fourteen sort of score line. Yeah. Like a couple of late tries to the Roosters. Yeah. Or I reckon it could even be like two tries in it and then the Roosters score like three at the end. Yeah. If they're flogging him, that's how it'll happen. Yeah. And then oh, I like Tedesco any time, but I'll try and pick someone else. You know what? Give, give me the cheese. You reckon? Cheese first game. Simple get in. And hooker crash over for dummy half. Fair enough, fair enough. Against the Dolphins defence that, you know, haven't really played yeah. much together. Might be a bit scrambly. And then, ever, this is the game of the week. Tigers, Titans. Oh, yeah, they say the best to last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, game go on. Um, it's a flip of the coin, but... like, that is I a think, flip of the coin. I think game. the Titans are going to have a better year, but this is at Leichhardt, so I'm going to go to the Tigers. Yeah, I'm the same. And right. then... Anytime try scorer, I'm going to say... Oh, I don't like their back line, so... Yeah, their back line's pretty <laughs> pathetic. Oh, there's a few obvious. Let's go... God, I'm trying to think through this. So let's go Dane Laurie. Yeah, fullback. Anytime. Then the margin, I'm going to say Tigers by about... 14. Let's go 14. I think they yeah. can... Yeah. I think they'll win it pretty comfortably, yeah. even though I think Titans will have a better year. That's what I like. I think Titans definitely the better team by the end of the season, but I think like Hard Oval, there'll be lots of fans there because of... But I can also see this game going the other way and Titans winning by about 20. Yeah. Like, at the same time, I really can... I think if Titans... I don't see Titans winning a close game. I think if Titans win, yeah. Yeah, win games, they'll be winning by a lot. The Tigers. Yeah. But yeah, I think Tigers... Win because it's a like hard, lots of fans yeah. there. Sunday afternoon footy, that's like the direct to like hard. Yeah, it is. You know, I think, as I said, lots of fans with high, high hopes for the season. And I'm going to I reckon it'll be close. I'm going to Tigers by two. Fair enough. I'm yeah, yeah really, two. two. Yeah. And then the Dragons have the bye, which yeah. will probably beat them in the Who end. Do you think so. wins? Yeah, I think Dra- the bye might win. Be <laughs> honest, <laughs> do you reckon the Dragons walk away with two points uh, at the end of the weekend? Well, <laughs> They should, like they really <laughs> should, but wouldn't surprise yeah, me. No, uh, and the try, I'll do a try scorer. I'll go. I'll go Aaron Schultz from the Titans. Yeah, yeah, I can back oh, that. Yeah. Back that. And yeah, we're going Dragons to beat the bye. Yeah. I, get the two I will to stay safe. Just to be safe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that'll do it for the week. First, right. first, first direct podcast. Yeah. Have good. Have fun. Good. Yeah, I did have fun. Yeah, I can't wait to get into this issue. Hopefully, do a weekly. Yeah.